everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with a sock swoosh and reviewing Tessa. This was absolutely, absolutely, absolutely insane. Um, and I called a bunch of trades in this. And one I didn't hold. <laughs> and I thought it was a good trade. And then yesterday I got out of the one and I thought it was a great exit. Huge, huge return on investment. And today this went up almost to 250. It's like this is on a tear. It's never going to stop, I guess. So the high today was 248.35. So I called the 205 calls that actually don't even expire until next Friday, which I thought yesterday was an amazing exit on because again, yesterday's high was 231 and change. Um, and it was almost $20 through the strike going into a holiday period, which is today and, and the market's closed tomorrow. I mean, to think that this gapped up again today and kept going. This is a perfect, 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 perfect example of institutional money. What is happening in Tesla is getting bought. So again, didn't want to do any new trades today, given the market was closed tomorrow, but you actually could have gotten back into Tesla today. Completely insane. Could have got in it today. Could have got out of it this morning. Low today was 234, ran up almost to 250. This is crazy. Jeez, but I don't think it's a, a good idea to go back and second guess yourself when you make money in a trade and exit. It's one thing if you get out with a puny little profit, but this was a huge trade, huge trade. And again, I think yesterday was a good exit, but it's be interesting. I, I'll have to email people next week after the holidays, see who, if anyone, held the 205 calls even into today. Could this be higher next week? Yes, but it's too many days off with the market, too many days closed, almost a week when you think about it, uh, because of the half days the market's closed and then tomorrow. So, but what a great example of exactly what I do. I look for stocks that are gapping, that are gonna have a large, big momentum move. Then I rate them. If they rate 20 points or more, then I take it in the direction of the gap. That is what I did with Tesla. And we did, actually, like I said, I got out of the 200 calls in this before the weekend. That moved almost 50 points. In fact, I'm going to look up and see what that was worth this morning. Completely, completely insane call by me. I tend to be in trades early. That works out for the best. Again, people always ask me when I show the stats, is this the best exit? No, I don't always get the best exit. I would be a, a psychic if I could do that. Um, but I still do very well with my trades. And I mean, I thought this was a great exit yesterday. <laughs> I really did. I mean, to, when I hit 230 yesterday, I said, this is fabulous. And it almost got to 250. So really looking forward to earnings season. Very exciting time to trade really exciting and I hope somebody held this into today at least one contract I don't trade where I split split it up but again that's my personal preference you could take a trade take four contracts get out of two hold two take eight get out of four hold eight or hold four you could do that I don't do that I mean they're all in or I'm all out that's just that's just the way I play it but uh, what a great call so really looking forward to earning season we're gonna have a lot of opportunities a lot more Tesla's a lot more huge trades like this this probably today, again, was six or 700% return investment if you held it. Again, I'm going to look it up and see what it's worth this morning. And it could even go higher. <laughs> but anyways, going into the holiday, not going to take any chances. We had a really good week. If you'd like more information on the Golden Gap course or the options newsletter, email me at melissathestockswish.com. Have a wonderful holiday, everyone.